record myself attempting pin curls like with actual pins or bobby pins. I'm just gonna zoom through some parts of this like I'll just speed it up so you don't have to watch every single part but I'm in just in my living room right now watching my son um, but I'm gonna put them up and I'm wearing my I'm still in my PJs too. <laughs> I mean who wears normal clothes when they're at home? Like usually when I'm vlogging, I'll like put on a normal shirt, but honestly, I wear my PJs most of the time. So let's put my hair up in pin curls. For, so I tested this a couple of days ago. Oh my God, my brush is full of hair. Um, let's pretend it's not. So I need to, oh my God, that's so awful. That's so awful. I need to part my hair because you want to do a swoop do ow a swoop I'm doing this without a mirror too which is really smart of me but I don't know where my little portable mirror is okay so you want one for the swoop and I'm not gonna do this one with pins oh I need to dampen my hair too So I'm not going to do this one with pins because I tried that the other day and it creates quite the line. Now let's do the top row of pin curls. I'm going to do one row about halfway up all the way around. child by the baby Bjorn bouncer I mean if you have a baby not if you have a full-grown child because that would be ridiculous but if you have a small little itty bitty, itty bitty baby you can get it used not used but um, open box um, on revelstork.com for considerably cheaper oh my god is it worth its weight in gold well, it's quite light, so but the analogy doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? do this I would strongly suggest finding bobby pins that don't have the little ridges there we go if you could get some without that that would be much better I mean I know the long ones have or don't have ridges okay that's what the top of my head is looking like got maybe two more to do on top
there we go. You got your hair up in pin curls. And then tomorrow I'll video, ooh, one's falling out. I'll record what it turns out like. Unless it looks like, no, I'll still record that. If it looks like that, then I'll be like, that was a waste of time. I think it'll be okay though. All right, see you tomorrow. So I have to go, well, good morning. So I have to go get my blood drawn. Um, and I'm at the Dynacare right now. And I took my hair out of the pin curls and did it do a big difference to do pin curls instead of rollers? Not really, maybe a little bit. Oh, I'm breaking out. No. Darn. Anyways, I'm going to get my blood drawn because I got my blood drawn a couple weeks ago and it said that I was experiencing some hyperthyroidism postpartum um, and I have all the symptoms. And no, well, not all the symptoms actually, but I have symptoms. Um, and then they're like, yeah, do all the tests again. Like, what, do they think, like, it was wrong the first time? Like, I have to do them all again? Which is a major pain in the ass, by the way, to, like, okay, first I have to get some time away from the baby to go and do this. And you have to make sure to get here super early or else there'll be a big lineup um, because it's drop-in. Oh, and there's a trick. Oh, I can't. There is a tip. For those living in a certain part of Ottawa... Don't go to that Dynacare because I see people lining up for like an hour in the freezing cold before they open. Like an hour before they open. Don't do that. There's one just like a couple kilometers away that you you only have to get here 10 minutes before. And you don't and they let you in. They let you in the building so that you don't have to be waiting in the cold. But I can't say where exactly because then it's like giving away where I live. So I shouldn't. But oh, I really want to give people that tip because it's like this is this one's so much better and so much easier. Anyways, um I I'm gonna go line up. Okay, bye. minutes it was so fast and I wasn't even the first person in there there was two people ahead of me that was so fast I so the tip is if you're in Ottawa go a little bit outside the city like farther than just don't I can't say where but don't go to the ones right in the city if you can I mean if you have a car like if you don't have a car then you're, you're screwed you have to line up like every everybody else or make an appointment obviously if you can do that apparently the lady said you got to do it make appointments 10 days before that's the soonest you can do them but um i don't make appointments because that's pain in the butt here so anyways now i'm going to get Cobb's bread so i'm going to get a cinnamon bun for myself because they do sour cream icing on the top and it's super good and my husband always wants a cinnamon scone so i'm gonna go there all right did I say sour cream icing on the cinnamon bun? I meant cream cheese icing. I don't know if I said cream cheese, but I think I may have said sour cream icing. Ugh, can you imagine if I was like, yeah, I love sour cream danishes or whatever. Actually, there is a sour cream donut at Tim Hortons, and it is good. Sour cream icing donut. No, it's called sour, what is it? Sour cream glazed. It's awesome so i mean just add enough sugar to cream of some sort <laughs> anyways okay gotta order my starbies got the baked goods there was a woman in there who came in right behind me and she just asked do you have any pizza ready it's like 7 8 a.m but i'm thinking this woman has got to be a mom like, 
only a mom would be getting pizza at 7, 8 a.m. Like, it's probably for her kid later, maybe, is what I'm thinking. And she's, but she's got to go now to get up for lunch. I bet she's a mom. She looked around my age, so she's like, mm, yeah. Or it's for her. Like, I mean, I would get a pizza, too, at 8 a.m. I mean, I've, especially when I was pregnant, I would eat lunch at, like, 9 a.m. Because I was up all night long, constantly, because I couldn't sleep. So I would eat, I would eat, like... What's that I would eat? I would eat like red Thai curry chicken at 9 a.m. And that was totally normal. I was just like, oh man, I really want lunch at 9 a.m. But uh, no judgment. I think I'm going to go get a coffee and then head back home. Yeah. Okay, see you later. shop with my son. Oh, he just woke up. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's falling asleep. <laughs> um, to get some more stickers. I actually didn't get tea at all. Um, but I realized when I got stickers last video for... Actually, would that have been in my last video? No, the video before. I only got stickers of food and coffee. And while doing my planner, I realized... My life doesn't revolve around just food and coffee. I mean, believe it or not. Actually, it kind of does, but... You know, I needed stickers for other things. So I came back to get more stickers. And now I don't think I'll buy stickers for a long time. But, um, this bag is really cute. Look at this bag. Have a nice day. Oh, I love this bag. Okay, so what stickers should I get? I got, okay, so this is, it says daily school life. I mean, obviously I'm not in school, but it had things that I wanted like pens, markers, um, to-do list, books, uh, cups of coffee, more cups of coffee, God. I mean, honestly, I can, I can always use a cup of coffee. And I got a bunch of new stickers in. This one is like a MacBook, dogs. I mean, that makes sense to me. Some plants, bags, whatever. It's called Small Happiness. This one kind of seems more travel-y, but it still has stuff that I'll use. I really like Sue as a, or I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Sue Atelier. Sue Atelier. Yeah, that's probably it, Sue Atelier. That makes more sense. So I tell you, I really like their stickers. I'm like, these ones have like families and trees and stuff and stars. I'll use that for my planner. This one, I guess these are bears. I thought they were hamsters. I just thought they were really cute. I know they're crying and stuff. For some reason that's really cute. This one is of girls, basically saying sassy comments like, oh, come on, and girl, OMG, no. I mean, I'll use that one. And then a last one, which is really good for a planner, is just like little mark things. I mean, what, what's on there? Like a shopping bag, a parcel. I can't really tell what else is on there from here because my vision sucks. But, you know, some stuff that'll be good for a planner. Oh yeah, like a message inbox, boxes, coupons. You don't really use coupons that much in Canada. Like, I've always seen that show, Extreme Couponing, and that doesn't work in Canada because you can't, like, stock up on coupons and, like, double and triple them and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I went in there with my son and he helped me pick out some stickers. Just kidding, he slept the whole time. He's sleeping right now. 
I can't hear him snoring. It's cute. He's got his little bear hat on. He's just he's just snoring. He's just sleeping through this whole thing. Hey, cutie. Mommy and me time. Anyways, I should go home because I have to pee. to the Costco and I got here 15 minutes early because I wanted to beat the crowd. There's about 150 cars here already and they've already started letting people in. There's a big lineup and they're all just like boom 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 boom. I hate, no, I don't hate Costco. I love Costco because we get great stuff at Costco. I hate going to Costco. I'm just gonna wait a little while until they all file in. Like, why the line up to get into Costco? I thought I was being smart getting here 15 minutes early. Okay, let's go. Fuck it. No, I'm not going. I'm waiting. I'm just gonna drink my coffee. Is it so hot in there? Oh my god! I was sweating in there. I had to take my hat off of my coat. Why is it like that everywhere in Canada? It's like freezing outside and then they blare the heat at you once you go inside the store. Anyways, I got a Costco hot dog. Even though it's 9 a.m., I'm having lunch now just because I can't go to Costco without getting a dollar hot dog. Also, I think there's someone waiting 
to get my parking spot, but I want to eat my hot dog. I'm going to eat my hot dog. So you know how like five seconds ago... <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so you know how like five seconds ago I was like, I'm going to eat my hot dog. Suck it, guy over there. Well, I like gobbled my hot dog down in less than a minute. I was just like, <laughs> because I felt so guilty. But they didn't even want to use my parking spot. They were trying to park beside me. And they did. They got the spot. And then I was just sitting there like, I just ate a Costco size hot dog in 30 seconds. For nothing and now I have acid reflux this is why you shouldn't eat a hot Costco size hot dog at 9 a.m. for no other reason than because you're at Costco do I regret it though no no I'm quite happy with my choice so now I'm at Walmart I have to get formula veggie straws of course um, some coffee, cottage cheese. My husband is body built, bodybuilding. <laughs> well, he's working out. <laughs> he's working out right now. And, uh, apparently one thing the bodybuilders eat, they eat cottage cheese with trail mix mixed in. I'm, I'm outing him right now for eating that. I tried it. It's like eating trail mix in salt water. Try it out for yourself. It doesn't taste that bad, actually. And it's like a ton of protein and blah, 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 blah. But if you don't work out, like, why would you eat that? And I don't work out right now. I'm in my non-working out stage. Anyways. <laughs>